All right, before we start today's video, I'm, I'm often asked, you know, hey, are you into candles or incense um, diffusers? I'm, I'm, I'm often asked about that. And yes, I am. That's the side of me that, you know, I really don't talk about. I don't, I don't know um, why, but I just don't. But yes, fragrances are just a part of the aromatherapy that I invest into. I mean, I have some of my favorite incense here that I often use is a sandalwood version, extra rich. Um, got this from a local Target or Walmart. Um, there are, I have a diffuser um, that I put oils and some of my fragrances in. Um, but my main, my main go-to, the main thing that I often do when I open up my office door, I cut the lights on, I come straight to my candle. All right, candles are my number one option. And today, um, I, this brand was so generous enough to allow me to experience their luxury uh, candles, man. So today, um, I got a package from uh, the company Thompson Ferrer, Ferrer, Ferrera, Ferrer, Ferrera. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, out of New York City, and this is what the candle comes in this big time luxurious box here and get a kick out of this design, all right? So this is one of the candles that they sent me. I'm gonna show you guys, look at that. Beautiful craftsmanship, beautiful artwork. When I first got it in, me and my wife were in the studio and it's two, two sided as well. You got the face here and then you have another face here. Humongous candles. And this one particularly gives off an, a floral, uh, sweet, musky uh, type of vibe. Very rich. You can tell the difference from a cheap candle that was five bucks and a luxurious candle like this. Now, I'm gonna have the information linked into the bottom um, in the description of this video, but if you're into luxury and I'm um, quality and you're into candles and you want something to change a pace or even dive more into uh, some some uh, aromatherapy options. Um, the brand of uh, Thompson and Ferreira is outstanding, based out of New York City. Um, so gracious, here's one more candle that I'm currently using. I love, look at that. I love that, man, I love it. This one is a more darker, smokier, uh, richer uh, candle. So. Um, I want to expound and answer the questions that I often get. Hey, are you into other things for aromatherapy use other than the fragrance? And the answer is yes. So Thompson Ferreira, the link will be down in the description. Y'all check them out. Luxurious candles, high quality candles and an excellent packaging experience. So grateful that they reached out to me um, and allowed me to experience their brand. So y'all check them out if you're interested, but uh, definitely appreciate the love. Let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy one more time, Deirdre Ellis Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully everyone is well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel, man. Positive vibes only. All right, so today I am excited to bring this video to you and to talk about a fragrance that came from a rack store all right so got very very lucky uh, my wife came in super clutch for me the other day i asked her to be on the hunt for this fragrance and if she's seen it could she scoop it up for me and that's exactly what happened so the rack stores have been um in turmoil a bit you know they've been really dead they've been very blah but around this time of year going into summer and father's day they just revamp I mean, it's kind of like fragrances come from under the ground and from all of the woodworks of the world and find their way inside um, rack stores. And I'm excited about that. So today we're going to be talking about quite possibly the summer cheapy of 2024. Um, it could be cheapy Hall of Fame worthy, um, but we'll see. But today we're going to be talking from the house of Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger. We're talking vibrant summer 2024. Vibrant summer 2024. Man, um, very excited for another Tommy Summer Flanker right there up in line with the Dolce & Gabbana uh, summer series that happens every single year. Now, this is my third or fourth uh, Summer Flanker uh, from Tommy, and I appreciate them all. Like, all of them have a purpose, and they're built for summertime, and this one is no different. So, 
We're gonna talk about um, what I smell, what I get. We're gonna break down the notes. I'm gonna give my recommendations on where this will be, where this will be best suited and give a rating so far of what my experience has been. All right, so let me go ahead and spray, show y'all the atomizer, put a couple, of, uh, a couple of sprays on the inside of my arm here. Two sprays, as y'all see the atomizer, your basic, you know, atomizer puts out a lot of juice, very solid atomizer for sure. In the air, tropical, fresh, light, breezy, airy, uh, fruity, um, just, very pleasant in the air and and i had a great <laughs> feeling that this fragrance was going to be really really good now the massive plus point of this fragrance is that it was 24.99 in my local ross ross and burlington are the two uh rack stores where i know that this is many of you guys have picked it up um re other reviewers are starting to talk about this as well but this one came from my local ross for 24.99 bang for your buck out the rip off skin, the comparisons to Le Beau EDT by Jean Paul Gaultier, I understand it. Picture this kind of like you got Le Beau EDT, you got Le Beau Le Parfum, and then you have um, a Le Beau Eau Fraiche. Like, th this is where my mind goes. Why? Because it's light, it's airy, you get that coconut feel, that uh, like a sweetness from a, a tonka bean, like, pretty similar feel. There's a little bit of a like spicy kick to this, a little bit. It's a little bit of a spicy kick to this. Beachy, vacation, hot summer days. This is going to work. This is just going to work. Like no ifs, no ands, no buts. And like I said, I had a great feeling that this was going to be successful. So why am I so excited? Well, when you can go the bang for your buck route and you can utilize a fragrance um, um, like this that you didn't have to spend a lot of money for that's that's a big time win and I know that's true for you guys and that's true for me as well all right so um, again tropical a little bit of aquatic coconutty the coconut in here does not come off synthetic I don't even know if coconut is an actual note we'll read it in just a second but um, the coconutty feel in here does not come off synthetic and I'm always nervous about a synthetic sunscreen coconut note i can't do it that's one of my no no's when it comes to fragrances i will easily pass got to have some type of resemblance of an artificial coconut or the real deal fleshy uh coconut so hopefully that made sense but that's the vibe that i get with this this is going to be something that i wear you know when it's summertime i'm in jacksonville floor it's scorching down here we're talking about running errands going to the barbershop going to the gym even just lounging around the house, just kind of moving around as, you know, I, I have to um, on a hot summer's day when we're just t-shirt shorts and we're just kind of vibing. Um, this is definitely one that is going to be an automatic thought to go to for sure. So this stuff is awesome. I really enjoy it. Let this develop a little bit more on skin. We're going to go ahead and read the notes and see what we get. Um, this is my first time looking up the official notes of Tommy Vibrant Summer. 2024 release of it went straight to the rack stores and I'm not mad about it. All right, so here we go uh, Main of course aquatic citrusy sweet synthetic and fresh check 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 Car uh, let's see notes. Okay cardamom lemon solar note musk rosemary and patchouli So no signs of a coconut here, but I got to assume that the solar note is the coconut vibe that I'm getting yeah, it, ha it has to be. So the citrus makes sense. The musk makes sense. I'm getting like a coconut or a coconut water uh, type of vibe, a salty feel to this fragrance. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if the rosemary and patchouli are giving me that salty feel. The cardamom must be providing a little bit of a bite, a little bit of a spice. Uh, it's very minimum um, that I get in this fragrance, but fresh, aquatic, sweet, um, from that coconut, coconut water vibe, it's all, all correct here. So um, it's not often that you get a 2024 release that just all of a sudden ends up in your rack store. So um, the bottle is your traditional Tommy bottle here, traditional uh, Tommy style. You got the cap that snugs on, just everything still the same. Tommy Vibrant Summer on the front of this thing. Uh, very nice, cool looking bottle. So 
overall for what this is going to be to me i'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of a 10 because one it's going to be very useful during this time of the year the summertime two i don't <laughs> I'm not wearing, you know, uh, mind games apart from the Marley or some of my heavy hitters, Ten John Terrains. I'm not wearing those to the gym. I'm not wearing those just to go to the grocery store. It's fragrances like this when I am going to the gym or if I'm going out for a run outside or even if I'm playing ball outside, whatever I got going on, this is going to be perfect. Running to the running errands, hitting the post office, whatever. This is going to be a great option because in the heat, in the elements, it's very vibrant, hence the name. It's very vibrant and it's perfect for this time of year. So I highly recommend, highly, highly, highly recommend you guys going and getting your nose on this fragrance. Um, it's $24.99. I'm sure a lot of you do worse with $24.99. Um, so if you don't like it, maybe you can give it to someone who can appreciate it for the summer. But I'm uh, gonna, you know, I'm gonna find it a little hard to believe if someone just flat out doesn't like this fragrance, especially if you're in, in if you're in those harder climates like down here in the south, um, because it gets smoking down here for sure. All right. So again, from the house of Tommy Hill figure, we are talking vibrant summer 2024. I really enjoy this. I am a fan. I give it a seven out of half, seven and a half out of a ten. And I think it is very, very good, especially for what you pay for versus what you get as well. Great stuff. Just smell it one more time. That opening is so good. Man, it's so good. It's so good. I really like it. So don't get, you know, don't take this as, oh my God, D said it's mind blowing. It's the next greatest thing since sliced bread. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying it's really, really good. I am saying that what this provides is something that excites me and I am going to be getting my money's worth plus some out of this fragrance. That's what I'm saying. All right. So vibrant summer 2024 from the house of Tommy Hill figure. Good stuff. All right. So y'all let me know down below in the comments. How many of you have gotten your nose on the new vibrant summer? How do you feel about it? Do you love it? Do you like it? Is it in? Eh? Is it trash? Is it? Oh, yeah. What is it to you? Let me know down below in the comments. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Summertime is here, at least where I am today. It is it is 93 degrees right now at the recording of this uh, video, and the humidity is coming through the door as well. So that muggy uh, Florida heat with that humidity is, is unforgiving. But we're here, and my fragrances will be ready to, to go round for round with the heat for sure, all right? So until next time, y'all be cool, y'all be safe, y'all take care of yourselves. Um, y'all know it's always positivity here, always positive vibes here for sure. As always, splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. And remember, what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That's for sure. Appreciate y'all, till the next time. Y'all know what it is. Splack <laughs>